Good morning. Lovely to see you this morning. Today I'm going to talk about one of the fundamentals of being a Christian. I'm using texts from John's Gospel, <clears throat> John chapter 1 and verse 12. Uh, John has begun his introduction to his Gospel talking about Jesus being the Word uh, in the beginning through whom all things were created and he says that Jesus is the light, his life is the light of the world. And then he comes into the world, his own people don't receive him. Verse 12 says, but to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. He gave power to become children of God. Now there's some senses in which we're all children of God. We're all descendants of God's creation, Adam and Eve. And we are made in his likeness as children are like their earthly parents in the physical. So we are made like God who is the father of all in one sense. But there's another very real sense uh, and very New Testament sense in which only those who receive Jesus who believe that he is the Son of God, who believe that he came and he lived and he died and he rose again for us, that we might have our sins forgiven. To these people, he gave power to become children of God, born not of the will of flesh, but of God. It's termed in many circles, born again or born from above. Some people find born again, the term born again, offensive because it seems to separate people into those who don't think they're born again and those who think they are born again. But the truth is that if you believe that Jesus died for your sins and that he came and you have received him into your life, into your heart, then you have, whether you want to or not, been born a second time or from above or again a second time. And thinking about chapter 3 of John, when Nicodemus came to see Jesus. He was a great scholar. He knew his Old Testament through and through. He knew a great deal. He'd heard Jesus speaking and he came secretly to find out more. And Jesus immediately to this man who was a believer in God, he was a devout Jew. He was, he was of the chosen race, a descendant of Abraham. He says to him, you must be born again. You must be born anew. I, in verse two, 3, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born anew or born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot see. It's not that he might not. He cannot see. So please don't turn away the idea that you, people need to be born anew. What Jesus is saying is, you have to start again. You've grown up in this world, having been born from your mother's womb. You've grown up, you've been taught how to manage your life, how to feed yourself, how to wash yourself, how to walk, how to talk, how to handle yourself. You've been taught skills to do a job and you've, you've grown up understanding the world in which your flesh lives. And now you need to start again. You need to be born of the Spirit. You need to be born into God's family. And in God's family, your Father, God, wants to teach you how to live in the Spirit, how to live a spiritual life. You've learned how to live a physical life. You need to learn from the start. And to begin with, you will have to be spoon-fed. You will have to be nurtured you will have to be discipled you'll have to be trained and taught how to live in the spirit because jesus makes it quite plain because nicodemus says what we would say what do you mean born a second time what do you mean do i go back into my mother's womb do is that what you're talking about i'm a fully grown man i can't do that he says and jesus says to him Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh 
is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Can't You can't get it plainer than that, that everyone in this world has been born of the flesh. And that flesh is flesh. Flesh is flesh. Flesh can't understand spirit. Flesh and spirit are poles apart, like oil and water. They don't mix. And that's why most people who are not born of the Spirit cannot really understand or accept the truths and, and the teaching for the Spirit because they are of the flesh. That which is flesh is flesh and that which is Spirit is Spirit. Let's think of an analogy. <clears throat> Let's suppose you wanted to, well, experience life, I don't know, as a dog. Dogs are wonderful creatures, aren't they? They're so, they're so friendly and so comforting and everything. Um, but in order to under, fully understand a dog's life and a dog's ways and a dog's habits, some of which are really quite unpleasant to us, like sniffing each other's nether regions and all that sort of stuff, you know, that they do and they sniff everywhere and they mark everywhere. It's not the way we would live. Dogs live very differently. To understand, you'd have to be born a dog. Because a human is a human and a dog is a dog. And the two can't really understand each other. It's not a very good analogy, but maybe it helps a bit. But we need to be born of the Spirit. And we start again. God gives us a new start. As born again, as new babes in Christ, as new creatures. The New Testament often refers to that, you know, I think in Hebrews, the writer of the Hebrews says, you know, um, you're, you're, he, he's talking to what he thought were mature Christians and he says to them, I'm still feeding you milk. You haven't grown. You haven't grown up. I mean, you're still studying the elemental things, the basic things of spiritual life. Grow up. So there is a, mature, there is a growing up and a maturity. But you start being born of the Spirit. Because that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit. And we cannot, only the spirit can live eternally. The flesh is doomed. The flesh will die. And then when we are resurrected, we'll be given a new body. And it is our eternal spirit that continues from the one to the other into eternity. That which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit. You must be born anew. You must be born into God's family. If you haven't been, if you don't know for certain that you are saved, ask Jesus, invite him into your life, into your heart, to be your Lord and Saviour. Do it today. Don't put it off. Be born again. You must be born again. That which is flesh is flesh. Flesh, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. These are very stark, certain statements without any doubt in them at all. And eventually Nicodemus did come through, as we know by the end of the Gospel of John. He was there helping uh, Joseph of Arimathea bury the body of Jesus. And he'd come out for Jesus. We need to come out for Jesus and stand for him as his, as children of God, born of the Spirit, born into the family of God. Time is up. My goodness. Have a great day. You born again creatures, you born from above creatures, you new creations. Have a great day living in the spirit. Bye-bye.